sure it's on. Yeah. Yeah. No. Is it going? No, the lights aren't on, honey. It. See the light? I had it. I had it on. It somehow must have went off. There you go. Now you got it. Here we're going. Ha ha! Guess what? Well, I told you I had a surprise for you. This is going to be my little portable television show on wheels. On wheels, my band. Okay, so I'll be able to talk about my life. Oh, you know what I want you to do? If you want to ask me any questions about the carnival world, the circus world, whatever, uh, my friend Timmy over here, if he sees you put something on Facebook, he'll, he'll hold his hand up and then I'll ask what, what you know, whatever the question may be and I'll find who your name is and I'll answer you. So until that happens, you just go with me. Wait, hold on. Having fun today. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Bye, baby. Okay, my friend. Uh, Rosabella, you know, I've been trying for, oh God, I mean, I went to Vegas in 2010, and I tried so hard to get different people in my life, two people, man, I won't tell no names, I want to have my life, different things, sent to different television shows, you know, uh, different television shows, see about getting me a, a spot on television, well, I've had enough, I've had help, but not enough help, I'm saying, enough help to, to get me going financially. Or Rosabella, she says, you need to be on YouTube, YouTube. I don't know how. See, my friends out there, you got to realize, uh, I was born and raised in show business. I was born and raised in brothers, and I was, my mother married a carnival man, so I was raised in the carnival world. So I've had no education. It's a shame. I'm 72, no education. But when you're traving, driving 80, 80 to 100,000 miles a year and working 18, 20 hours a day in the carnival of the circus world, uh, there's no time because you, you're back down the road again. You put it up, you tear it down, you're back down the road again. We had a traveling nightclub. It's, got, it's called a girl show. So that was, But I was born and raised by the circus. But my mother married a caramel man. Well, anyway, uh, I'm starting my own movie company, but I need a financial backing. So I know about a little bit uh, my friend Rosa, Rosabella, Rosabella from France. Oh, she, did you see the write up on my mother? It's on Facebook now. It's in French, but she sent it in, in English too, but I don't know it's on my Facebook yet. But if it's not, we'll put it on there. It's pictures of my mother, some more stories. She did a nice write-up on me uh, about two and a half weeks ago or so as well, which made me very, very happy. And my friend Jimmy, Madonna, from Washington, who did a documentary on me. Uh, it's been almost about a year and a half now since it's been done, and it took many, many months to get it done. A lot of, a lot of phone calls, a lot of time, a lot of pictures, uh, preparation to get it done. And I'm very happy with Jimmy, and I thank you. Today. He's got a beautiful wife, and Brian and Peter. But I need a financial backing, and I need more nationwide publicity. And I didn't know how to do it. And, I, I, you know, I'm around different kinds of people. You learn so much. And I can learn to do so much on my smartphone. But now, today, you get to see, this is the beginning of my YouTube. And we're going to start going YouTube and go nationwide. And also, uh, Bill Hall is going to write up for me as well. Did somebody ever ask a question? No? Uh, Bill Hall is doing a story on me as well, a story on my life. It's a carnival magazine. I don't know when he's going to, when he's going to get to it because he had so much involved with other things he's working on as well. And also, oh, Billy, not Billy, excuse me, Pat from Washington. He's doing, doing a magic magazine. It's, I'm going to be in a magic magazine, and it's going to be for senior citizens, which is really, really cool. So I like doing shows with senior citizens and uh, dis disabled kids and a variety of things because I love people a lot. I've been performing now 69 years since 83. Since 83. And that's, uh, that's a pretend midget. Ha <laughs> ha, wishing I'm on a midget now. I'm going to tell you a little bit what we're doing here now. At one time, with Christian, I used to wrestle alligators. I even went out and caught the son of the guns, too. Because, you know, I was born in a circus. I worked with lions and tigers and cougars my whole life. And this little rattlesnake right here, his name is Toby. With Toby, I was buried with 102 rattlesnakes in uh, Cushata, Louisiana. I was about uh, 17 or 18 years old in Cushada, in my van, not this van, of course. It's been a long time. I it was in a van for a week, and we got rained out. But in meanwhile, this is Toby. Anyway, the 102 rattlesnakes, when we finally brought me up from under the ground, with Toby, he didn't make it. So that's a shame, too, because uh, he, he's my buddy, too. The other ones are big, big. Of course, they made it, so I must have laid on him. And so anyway, it's buried in the, like we're here in the van now had a scope that went down and people could walk around on top and look down into the van like I'm in right now but they're up here looking down with 102 rattlesnakes 
crawling around me. I had a bathing suit on. Before I did all this, I worked with the rattlesnakes besides catching most, most of myself in Hop, Louisiana, Hop, Alabama. They have a, a rattlesnake rodeo once a year. Well, I bought a few from, from that rodeo as well. I got my little pretty wig on. I'm trying to make sure my hair is it's a little bit better here. Anyway, uh, 102 rattlesnake. Uh, I worked with them for about two and a half, three months with a huge cage. And I would lay there by the cage with the rattlesnakes. I had a lot of marijuana. I'd blow it at them. They were happy. I was happy. They didn't know why they were happy, but I was happy they were happy. Trust me. So anyway, that's a little bit about my life story, about some of my life. So anyway, uh, oh, the name of this thing, this uh, the thing we're putting together right now for YouTube, the name of my movie company is gonna be called Vegas Carnival. Vegas Carnival. Vegas showgirls, variety, and carnival people. Because I have a lot of show, a lot of my carnival people back in my life. And I'm very happy to, because some I haven't seen for, oh God, 40, 45 years or better. I reconnected with them. Anyway, uh, another thing I want to show you over here. Uh, I don't know if you know who remember the show called uh, uh, Gene Autry. Gene Autry. How about that show called uh, Green Acres? Pat Buckton, Mr. Haney from Green Acres. Well, at one time I was engaged with Pat Buckton. See, I don't, age is not important to me, or looks. I like to be around good quality people that I enjoy them. Them. Uh, good looks, all that is not, it's nice, but it's not where my heart's at. My, I enjoy people. I stopped dating in 1978. I do not date. But when I was still dating, Pat Bucks and Mr. Haney gave me these horns right here. And it got Gene Archery's name on it, Gene Archery. So it came from Gene Archery. And some of you won't remember because you're so young compared to my age. But Gene Archery and uh, he, uh, Pat Bucks was also a sidekick on Green Acres as well. Well, anyway, uh, I have a little bit of wine here. We're going to do too much. A little bit later, when it's a little darker out there, I'm going to take some steel pictures. Try to get a little sexy. Get a little wine in me. I get a little sexier, sexy. Mmm. Oh, baby. Rosabella, thank you, honey. Uh, my friend Tim, by the way, uh, he's still filming me right now. He's he's my neighbor. Uh, he's been helping me a lot on Facebook, teaching me different things. But Rosabella, she said, oh, by the way, Tim, she sent a bunch of things to us, explaining to us how to deal with uh, YouTube. So we'll be able to get to, and we do this film in a little while, we go right to it. We, we'll have to study. Look, she sent the, see, this is what I want, information. My friend is involved in my life. I want to know where all the movie studios are here in Las Vegas. Things I need to do so I can go research. You can, with no education, it's a struggle. So anyway, other than that, I think we'll do this. Pay attention now. There it goes. And go up the sleeve. Are you ready? Up to sleep, ring a ding ding. Oh, baby, baby, baby. And I love you. I'll see y'all next time. Okay, have a TV show called Vegas Carnival. Bye bye for now.